welcome Francesco Akira to the Danish podcast, The Wrestler and the Nerd. I will also like to get people's attention that this interview will also be posted in on my YouTube channel. So Francesco, actually the first time I met you was in Denmark. And for mm. me, the story behind why did an Italian wrestler end up to wrestle for a Danish promotion. What's the story behind that? Uh, first of all, hello to everyone. It was a pleasure to be here. Uh, to be fair, it's just like uh, I was a fan of Body Slam before because I heard it. They have a really good product over there and never been to Denmark before. Okay. So I was interested and I knew the promoter from like a few years ago maybe so yeah. we just keep in contact and when i came back to europe he was interested in having me so that's why yeah but it was also a great match i was very impressed with the match that you put on in denmark because you, i think yeah because it was actually quite interesting because you really raised the bar there when you could see compared when I compared you to some of the other wrestlers there you could really see even though you haven't wrestled that long you you really show that you had something unique to bring to the Danish audience yeah yeah that was good but something that I would like I would like to start at the beginning all the way back to when you started in Italian championship wrestling what's the story how did you get into professional wrestling so i was already like a fan but not a super fan of wrestling i used to watch it when it was very big on tv back in 2004 2005 and like i started to being a fan and i tried different sport but actually never fit in one ah. so that's why i choose to start pro wrestling i just like asked my mom if there was a wrestling class near us and luckily there was ah okay so that's my start oh so that's your start but but how yeah. did you go on from there because everyone starts somewhere but how did you develop into the wrestler because one thing is that you want to be a professional wrestler another thing is going the places that you have gone until now I mean, that's, I think, the passion. That's the difference. Yeah. Like, if someone is really thrived by passion, by love of what you're doing, you can do a lot of amazing stuff. So that's why I think, I think, I mean, I didn't do anything, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I still have a lot to accomplish. Yeah. So, but that's why. Yeah, you're still quite young and you yeah. haven't actually have achieve, achieved a lot. What can you, I think that it's quite impressive, but, but if we take you and we take the wrestler Francesco Akira, and you have this interesting nickname called Fireball, does it really, is it about your hair or is it about your explosive style of wrestling? <laughs> it's a mixing, by the way, I want to ah. just, just say something that soon I will announce my new nickname. Okay, my new, my new evolution of the yeah. character, and we, ah. it will be with Fireball, but I won't say now, I want to just tease it. Ah, okay, uh, yeah. So, Fireball, <clears throat> because of the color of my hair, of course, yeah. and because the style I try to bring to the ring yeah. is my explosivity, my speed, my intensity. That you can uh, resume that in a Fireball. Fireball is an explosion, is like, yeah, something intense it's very intense it's very dense and then it when it hits something it explodes yeah exactly yeah yeah so so how what can you say now you're uh I, i'm quite impressed when i saw you in new japan uh, pro wrestling so but the journey from ecw to to new japan pro wrestling what's all the stepping stones from there on but try and take us through every places that you have been and what did you I started in Italy like, in, yeah. like eight years ago almost seven eight years ago I started a few like I stayed a few years in Italy because I was young I started when I was four, 
13 or 13, no, 14, yeah. no, maybe 13, 13, 14. So I stayed in Italy until like 18. Then I started traveling to the England, especially because it's the biggest scene in Europe, let's say. Yeah. So I started going there. And then at 19, I went to Japan for the first time for all Japan. Yeah. And it was like a very different, they're very different, of course, from Europe and from everything I knew the training, the wrestling and everything. And now I'm to the biggest place in Japan and like my favorite promotion in the world, like New Japan Pro Wrestling, that's where it begins now. Yeah, and I, I think actually it's well deserved for you because you, you really, you're really unique. You will bring something new to the United Empire because I'm, I'm also a big fan of New Japan Pro Wrestling. Um, so I've I followed that promotion and but what's how did you get into the stable United Empire? How did is the connection? Because everyone knows uh, Will Osprey is a very big thing in the United Empire. Do, is there some kind of connection there with you and I Will? Think, I think what brought me to the United Empire is less. It's because I could bring something to the United Empire like. They have United Empire has really top members, you know, from Osprey, from Jeff Cobb, that is an Olympian wrestler, from Enare, that is really skilled martial arts. Then all the all the other guys, Great Okana, C Open, and TJP, one of the best juniors of our generation. So I think I can bring my explosivity to the United Empire and bring the junior heavyweight golds to us. So that's why I think they got me. They were yeah, <laughs> yeah, of course. But uh, actually, I'm also expecting you to bring that type of gold to the United Empire. Nothing less. So I'm putting a little bit of pressure on you right now, actually. <laughs> I uh, so, already have a lot, but please yeah, give yeah. me more. Yeah, yeah, I know. What is your take on now you can see the new Japan Pro Wrestling is collaborating with uh, AEW? And everybody's uh, talking about a forbidden door and so on. So what's, um, do you hope to be a part of that show, the forbidden door, which actually doesn't exist in pro wrestling, if you ask me? <laughs> I think like that's a great thing, you know, because we're talking about two of the biggest promotion in the world, like collaborating together. That's something that never happened before uh, or like happened very rarely. So it's really cool promotion from Japan with a big promotion in the USA. Of course, I would love to be a part of it. I sure United United Empire would be a part of it. And just thinking about all the matches, all the gold we can get there too, is just to make United Empire more big. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But I I think actually it's good for wrestling that you don't have this very tight, closed uh, promotions that you open up and give the fans more, what can you say, more spices of and more mm -hmm. different type of wrestling styles. Because I really think that New Japan Pro Wrestling is so unique. They, yeah, they yeah. really have some wrestlers that you don't see anywhere else. So, yeah. so, so for me also, what if, if you could... You could take a look and look into the future, uh, Akira. What will the future bring for you? I, I know a, a belt around your waist. No, of course. But what else? United Empire, the, the one thing you think now I have accomplished. One thing in resting up. Yeah, yeah. except from, of course, the best of Super Junior that is next. Yeah. The IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship. I want to bring United Empire to Italy too. I will bring New Japan to Italy. I want to expand our United Empire. I want to be like worldwide. It's already, it's already his. Let's make it more. And I want to make Italian wrestling grow up too. That's one of my next plans. Ah, okay. Oh, that sounds good. But, but actually, if I could have a little bit something to say about that plan, uh, Akira, I would actually, I would like to, uh, ask you to bring it to Denmark as well. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Sometimes in the future, but 
because I think really Denmark needs, like you say in Italy, we need something more than just we had for about, what, what is it, about six or seven years ago we had WWE, but I would like the Danish people to see the other styles of wrestling, not just the American very entertainment style, but also the very technical, very skilled style of wrestling, that New Japan Pro Wrestling, and yeah. what you represent, I think, also. Little by little. Yeah, 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 little by little. But but if you have, now we're talking a little bit about the future. If you could say you have three dream matches, you could choose any opponent in the world, which three uh, wrestlers would you like to uh, I think wrestle like, against uh, and why I think of course like Osprey is you know the best wrestler in the world like Osprey I really like Shingo but there's I mean there's so many dream match but more than dream match now I'm thinking how about to elevate myself how to elevate yeah. the higher exactly. in the junior division you know when I debuted in New Japan I told junior division need to burn because it's not what it used to be and that's why i wanted to take it uh, back and build it up build it up again mm. so every junior is a dream match, dream match for me okay okay so so how how do you think that you will can develop that junior tuition not just by putting what can you say focus on it but what will you bring it as a wrestler? What will you do to bring it more, not just to say, I want to wrestle this and this, but the wrestler, Francisco Akira, what will he you know, bring to the junior division? I'm the first Italian that ever competed in New Japan for wrestling, I think. I probably is. So what I will bring to the table is just something different. Nobody has my, my drive, my fire, my passion, my intensity so that's what i will bring to the table and that's what i want to like the junior heavyweight belt is a really really prestigious one yeah one. for me the most important belt in the world so i want to take that and i want to make it like i want to be the best champion that's what i want yeah I, but i think you really have the potential to be so why shouldn't you so why shouldn't you do that Uh, but but again, I think for me also we could. There's a lot of things to talk about, and probably we can talk for hours and hours. But 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 I would like to go a little bit uh, back again in time um, for about the match you had in Denmark. Mm -hmm. So what was your experience of the Danish wrestling audience? Man, it was crazy. Like because I remember half of the crowd was drunk. Yeah. So, <laughs> exactly. Already, be, already before the show starts. So I was yeah. like, okay, it was really fun because I think many were were not wrestling fans, but I think uh. everyone enjoyed the night. That's the most important thing. I think I remember there was this group of uh, guys that like was really hyped for everything we did. <laughs> yeah, and it was really cool. Like. I never experienced a crowd like that. Usually it's more wrestling fan or family. Yeah. But here it was just people, just random people that came there and just have fun. And I think everyone did. So I really love that Danish. I really love Denmark and Danish people. Yeah. Ah, that's good to hear because I think the Danish audience, we uh, is they just want to get entertained. And you did that for sure. They wanted to have a good match. They're not probably as much into the technical part that as I am, but they want just want entertainment, and you gave them that. But, but yeah, yeah, for sure. But about one thing that's essential to every wrestler that you have in a roster is the finishing move. Mm -hmm. Let's hear a little bit about your finishing move and why you choose that. I mean. At best of Super Junior, there will be a surprise. I'm practicing a new finisher with oh. a new Kira, a new me. But yeah. from the finisher I had before, so the Yutaka, that one I used, the one I went when I won the Junior Heavyweight title in all Japan, it yeah. was like because Osprey gave me the Oscar 
and I wanted to make it a little bit different, but yeah. like giving the proper respect to the Oscar there himself. Ah. So I just try to put it in my way. It makes me made me win the junior heavyweight title, so it was good. Yutaga was the name of my brother, little brother in yeah. Japanese, so that's why. Ah, okay. So it was a tribute to two persons, actually. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. Right. So can you give us a little bit of insight of what the, your new finishing move will be? Just just a little bit of sneak peek. I will say it's like a fireball. Ah, okay, okay, interesting. Like and nothing more than yeah. Ah, sorry, but in the future, if we um, say now you're into New Japan rest. New Japan Pro Wrestling. Will will we see Francisco Akira in AEW or WWE, or is New Japan the place? New Japan, uh, my place. Yeah. Ah, New that's Japan. good to hear. Yeah, that's so good to I hear. To be. Yeah, yeah. New Japan is 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 where I want to be. Yeah. Okay. Nice. 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 Yeah. yeah. But uh, also, I think it's important that that we our wrestling eyes will be open more to. Not just the two big ones, but also New Japan. It's just, a, in my eyes, it's just as important as the two others. Because I, I actually, I hope that a lot of people will be watching the so-called Forbidden Door show. And, we'll see, yeah. and we will see a lot of interesting matches there. And we will, I hope that we will see you in the United Empire against someone else. I will for sure be watching. And saying that yeah. they they have to look out for that guy because yeah. they will be yeah. hit by a new thing, a fireball. <laughs> exactly, you know, you got it. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. So, so I could say I think I actually got a little bit, a little piece of you, one could say, of the wrestler. But what was your motivation for continue wrestling to? Who will what will motivate you to keep on improving as a wrestler? Uh, man, uh, just because I love what I'm doing, I love professional wrestling. It can be very hard sometimes, it can be very dark times and everything. Yeah, I just love what I do. I love wrestling, professional wrestling, every different styles. I love it. So that's what made what drove me to keep pushing and keep trying to make better every time. That's what I try to do every day. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. But I think for me, the thing here also is that I want to give um, the wrestling world all, uh, maybe you're not that probably known in the larger audience, but for me actually it was quite important to uh, to take uh, to have this interview with you because i wanted to open the world's eyes to all the very very fantastic indie wrestlers probably a lot of people will probably still call you an indie wrestler sometimes but in not in my eyes actually because you you have elevated from that when you joined the united empire now you are what can you say uh, Really going from indie to the main roster or something like that. Yeah, well, I don't think there's anything wrong to be yeah. an indie wrestler. No. You know, everyone was, most of the people were indie wrestler when they started. So, yeah. There's someone, someone, a lot of people are still calling Will Osprey an indie wrestler. Um, just to have you um, to say a few last words for the, the Danish wrestling scene, mm -hmm. but also the world of wrestling. The, so the, world is, the world is yours, Akira. Okay. Just, I'm um, just a moment. Yeah, of course. So thank you very much. Thank you very much to you for this interview. Thank you very much to everyone that's watching it. Keep supporting New Japan Pro Wrestling, the United Empire. And you know, we are going to take everything. We're going to take everything. Next is the best of Super Junior for me. I'm going to take that and bring it to the United Empire. And I will be the first Italian to do that. So if you like it, it's cool. If you don't, it's going to be like that. So if you, you can find me on any social media except TikTok. 
maybe one day. <laughs> maybe, yeah, yeah. I'm still not there yet as well. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm too old. Yeah, yeah. I'm too. I think also actually, but I'm, probably yeah. I'm a little bit older than you. So. <laughs> <laughs> probably.